folks, I'm on the phone with Narvel Feltz, a legend in the rockabilly era and uh, country music business. Uh, Narvel, what's been going on with you lately? Well, uh, I've uh, done quite a few shows here in this year of 2010, um, and uh, just uh, finished my uh, uh, tour for the year. Right, right. I, you know, I noticed you on the uh, on on cable television, the uh, uh, Country Family Reunion. Yes, I was honored back in uh, January to be a part of that, and uh, it really gave me a big surprise when I uh, sang "Somebody Hold Me" and opened my eyes at the end, and all of those uh, classic country stars that filled the room were were standing, giving me a standing ovation. What an honor! Uh, I can imagine, and. Uh, uh, I tell you what, I watched the show, and uh, you're just as good now as you've always been. Well, thank you so much. So, um, tell us a little bit about early on in your career, how things got started with you. Well, I, I uh, entered a high school talent contest in Bernie, Missouri, and uh, I won it, and by chance there was a DJ in the audience uh, from Dexter, the radio station in Dexter, and the next day, I was listening to the radio station, and they said, if Norval Phelps is listening, please contact uh, KDEX immediately. Wow. So I ran outside and told my daddy what they had said, and he uh, primed the pump and uh, uh, put some water in his uh, 46 International truck, uh, the radiator, and drove me the eight miles out the uh, gravel road to, to Bernie to the nearest phone. And I called them, and they said, bring your guitar and come on up. And I got there, and they gave me a regular Saturday afternoon radio show. Wow, that's that's cool. And then, then a little later on, uh, on towards Memphis? Uh, yes, I, uh, I did a show with Dexter, Missouri. By this time, uh, Jerry Mercer had hired me to be a featured singer uh, and to play the upright bass in his band. And we opened the show for Roy Orbison and Eddie Bond. Oh, Eddie Bond. I know Eddie Bond personally. Uh, and uh, and uh, he still remains my friend uh, uh, this day also. And uh, But uh, Roy, after that show, uh, went back uh, to Memphis and told him at Sun Records they should give me a listen without me asking him to do so. And so I wound up in a couple of weeks uh, with an audition with Sun Records, and uh, this was uh, about... August of uh, 1956. Right, so uh, at the time that Elvis was kicking around and... Yeah, and Carl Perkins, Johnny Cash. Right. Uh, and then when I did my first session, uh, was it was January of uh, 57. And just, just hanging around uh, there that day was uh, uh, Roy was in the control room with Jack Clement and Sam Phillips was around and uh, Harold Jenkins was yet to become Conway Twitty, had a chair drug out by my microphone, and uh, Johnny Cash was there, wow. and uh, also Jerry Lee Lewis, who was yet to have a hit record. Right, so uh, you could say that you're one of the original Memphis boys then. Well, uh, pretty much so. Uh, I wound up uh, uh, moving quickly on to Mercury Records in Chicago, uh, and... Uh, I, it, in May, I went to Chicago and recorded for Mercury, and then in uh, June they uh, they released my first record. Well, uh, well, Narvel, how about how many records would you imagine that you've sold? I don't have any idea of how many I've sold uh, worldwide through the years, but uh, during my hit streak uh, uh, of the seventies, I had. Uh, uh, Forty. Uh, let me see. I, I I've had a I charted records in uh, Billboard from 1960 to 1987, uh, and during that period of time, I I guess I put maybe 53 records in the Billboard charts. You know, I, I have to tell you something, Norval, and I and I think I've shared this with the uh, the fans of the radio show, but uh, when I was growing up. Um, I used to get up early in the morning, watch the Eddie Bond show in Memphis, and uh, that's where I first saw you, and uh, I've been a fan ever since. Uh, I think it's amazing how you sing, and uh, I, I'm a singer myself, and I've tried to duplicate uh, 
reconsider me, and there's no possible way for me to for me to do that. So it's it's quite impressive. Uh, so what well, what's going to be happening in the future for Narval Phelps? Well, I plan to keep on touring. Uh, in fact, I've already got uh, a few dates set uh, in uh, 2011. I'll be going to England twice next year. And uh, my first uh, show of the year will be in uh, Eustace, Florida on uh, J- January the 15th. Well, it sounds like you're going to have a busy 2011. Well, uh, probably as busy as I will want to be. Right. And uh, I don't like to do a lot of shows anymore, but I like to do uh, one a month. Is, I'm, I'm content with that. Uh, uh, but sometimes I do two or three a month. Well, Norval, you know, I sure do appreciate you uh, taking time out of your schedule to uh, uh, do this little interview with us for the radio show. And uh, um, I wish you the best of luck in your rest of your career. And... Uh, I I appreciate you coming on the air with us. Well, thank you, Joe. I appreciate you uh, uh, giving me a call and uh, and giving me the opportunity to be on uh, your radio show, and I appreciate you playing my records. Yes, sir, and folks, that was Norval Phelps.